Hi, in this video, I'm gonna quickly teach you how to assess the pathology of the L4, L5, and S1 nerve root. It might look a bit uh, strange compared to the normal way, like the myotome testing and the reflex test and things like that. But then this will almost like quickly ascertain whether there's a neurological component. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask our patient to literally walk using her toes. So she's gonna walk forward and then walk back on her toes. Okay, and just relax there. Now, walking on the toes, not literally on the toes, but on the ball of the foot, basically is a motion of plantar flexion. And that will be using the, the tibial nerve, but it's actually testing the S1 myotome. So the patient struggles with that one, then it might be indicative of an, an S1 pathology. And vice versa, if the patient was to walk on the heels forward, okay, and then walk back. And then because that motion is using the tibialis anterior and the extensors, then that's gonna be more of an L4, L5. You can also ask the patient to turn over on the ankles, and that's testing inversion, which is also L4, L5. And if you ask a patient to turn the feet the other way, eversion, then that's mainly coming from the peroneals, and that will be an S1 nerve root. Now, what we can also do is stabilize the hands and then because the reason why is sometimes when I walk in, they can lean so they can cheat a little bit. But what you can ask a patient to do here is literally just go up and down on your foot, like half raise two or three times and again, good, and relax. And then what you can do is bring one leg behind, okay, and then slowly come up onto one leg, one, and again, and again, good, and back down, the other leg. So this is mainly testing the S1 nerve root of the myotome. Good, I'm back down. So what that tells me is the patient is able to walk on the ball of the foot, so that's the S1, and then walk on the heels, which is testing the L4, L5 nerve roots.